Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change header size in Shopify. For example, you can see I'm on my Shopify store and this is the header size right here. As you can see, this is the header option. Now to change it, all you'll need to do is go onto your Shopify admin page. Once on the admin page, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on online store. After selecting online store, you will be redirected to the themes page. Once on the themes page, what I want you to do is scroll down and right beside customize, you are going to tap on the three dots. Then you are going to select edit code. After selecting edit code, you are going to automatically be redirected to this page. Then I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to scroll down and you are going to select assets that is the second icon in the bottom left hand corner after selecting assets you are going to scroll down and select base.css depending on the theme that you are using you may not see base.css instead you may see theme.css you are going to select either one once you have done that you are going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page then you want to create a blank line. So if you don't see a blank line, all you need to do is simply tap on the bracket right here, then tap on enter and it will create a blank line. After you have done that, you are going to paste the code that I will be leaving a link to in the description. So you are going to simply copy and paste this code. So let's do that real quick. Copy the code, then we are going to go back and we are going to paste it right here. After you have pasted the code, you are going to go over to the right hand corner and you are going to tap on save. Once the changes have been saved, if I were to go back onto this page and you can see how it usually looks, if I were to refresh the page, you can see how it looks at the moment. And if you would like to adjust the size even more, all you'll need to do right where you see 15 px you can adjust it to whatever size you want. So let's say you want it to be 45 px, you could type it in right there, then tap on save once more. After you have tapped on save, you can refresh the page to see how it looks. You can see the header size right there is increasing a bit as you can see there. And also if they were to scroll down, you can see that the menu option is still available as you can see there. And that's it. Any other editing options that you would like to do with the editor section, you can do that in the editor page. All you'll need to do is tap on exit. Once you're on the theme page, once more. So let me go back, go back right here, tap on home. If I were to go onto home, tap on online store once more, it is going to carry me to the theme page. Once on the theme page, all you'll need to do now you're going to scroll down and from there you're going to select customize. So we're going to tap on customize this time. After tapping on customize, what I want you to do now, you're going to simply see right here, you'll see header. All you will need to do, you can tap on header right here. After you have tapped on header, from there you can change the positioning of the logo. So if you would want the logo to be at the top left, or if you'd like it to be middle left, any section that you'd like it to be, you can simply choose it right here. But keep in mind that moving the position of the logo also affects your menu as you can see right here. So you can do that. You can also scroll down. You could change the menu if you want, change it from the main menu if you want. You can also change the menu type so instead of it being a drop down menu, if you would like it to be a mega menu, you could tap on that. Or if you would like it to be a draw, you could tap on that. And you can see right here the three dashes. So someone would have to tap on the three dashes to see the menu option as you can see right there. So if you would like it to be that, you could do that. If you would like it to be a sticky header, you can do that at the moment it is on scroll up. If you would like it to not be, you can simply tap on none. Or if you would like, for example, it to be always, so the menu option or the header section will always be available, you could tap on always. 
or if you would like to always reduce logo size you could do that by tapping right there and you can also remove the show separator line if you would like to remove the black line all you'll need to do is tap right there and it will remove the black line you can also add background color or you could change the color of the text in your header section by tapping right where you see color scheme you could tap on edit after you have tapped on edit if you would like to change the background color you are going to tap in the circle right beside background let's say i would like the background to be blue i could tap on blue and you can see how it looks right there so this is how the background looks at the moment as you can see right here and if i were to refresh the page let me save the changes real quick if i were to save this then refresh the preview page let me refresh the preview page so you can see how it looks you will realize that the background color is now blue and remember that i changed the positioning of the menu option so that's why you see it to the left so if you would like to change the text color you can do that let me change the background color back to white then i'll go back right here and if you would like to change the text color you can do that by tapping on text so if you like the text to be red or any color you can see the text right there is now red or if you like it to be blue you could tap on blue right there and that's it that's how to change up or edit the header section and again let me go over to here and i'm going to change the menu type to drop down so you can see it right there and i'm going to tap on save hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.